All right, so today we're going to go ahead and uh, go over an example of how to create a multi-view drawing um, from this isometric object, okay? And a few things I'm going to state beforehand. Number one, um, typically you want to make sure that you're doing this with pencil. Make sure that you have a straight edge. Um, I'm going to try my best to draw my lines as straight as possible, but um, I'm doing this electronically. So um, what I would like to kind of go over first are a few things about your isometric view. Okay, so number one, this, if I'm looking in this direction, this is always going to be considered your front view of the object. Okay, then this, if you pretend that you're standing right there, right where the arrow is and looking in that direction of the arrow, this is what we call the right side view. Okay, or some people even just call it the side view. And then the other, the third view that we are going to draw is this top view and that's as if you're looking down okay typically we want to start first by drawing the front view okay so i'm going to go ahead and the first thing i'd like to do is i would like to color and kind of shade in what sides i'm going to see using or looking at the front view okay so if i'm looking directly in that side i'm going to see first this vertical kind of trying or vertical rectangle the next side I, you would also see is this kind of upside down L. And then the third side that you would actually see is actually this angled side. Just know it's going to look a little different. It's not going to look as big because of the fact that you see depth, right? But when we're drawing this front view, we're not going to be drawing the depth of the object, okay? All right, the second thing that I'd like to kind of go over um, is why in the world do we start? Because we are going to start with drawing our front view. And the reason why we're going to start with drawing our front view is because our front view is going to line up with our top view and our right side view. Okay, so let's see how that works. I'm going to start here in the lower right corner, which means over here I'm going to start or lower left corner, sorry, I'm going to start in my lower left corner of my multi-view drawing. A front view is always going to be drawn in the lower left corner of your multi-view drawing, okay? From this corner, I'm going to be going up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and I'm going to draw my line as straight as I possibly can. There we go. Then I'm going to go over one, two, and this becomes horizontal. There we go. And then I'm going to go back down all the way down to the same bottom point. And I can even just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which is the same as the other side because uh, it is a rectangle. And there we go. And then I'm going to connect. Okay. So there's that vertical rectangle. The next thing is I'm going to now start on this upside down L. I'm going to wait to do this angled side. Why? Because it doesn't really follow any of the isometric grid lines, which makes it difficult to actually kind of count and measure out. So this corner, if you notice, if I'm directly looking at that side in the front view, this corner is kind of directly on top of that corner. So I'm going to start by drawing this starting point, which is right up here. Okay. And I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Draw my horizontal line. Okay. And then I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Which is actually the same as this, right? Because the other vertical lines I drew went down eight as well. So I'm just going to draw it all the way down until it ends at the same grid line, okay? Now I'm gonna to go to the left one, two. So go over two. And now this time I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm gonna go up six, there we go. And then I need to draw this side right here. And if I measure that out, it's one, two, three, four, and five. And if I notice, one, two, three, four, five, it goes all the way to that edge, all the way to right here, which works out nicely, right? It's directly below this 
directly below that and that lines up okay so the last part the last part we need to draw is this angled side and if you notice technically we already kind of drew this edge because if I'm looking at the front view this edge is gonna look as if it's directly on top or the same thing as this edge and we already drew that on our drawing now I need to draw this bottom edge on these sides but again I've already drawn this side and I've already drawn this side so the only line that I need to draw needs to represent this bottom edge and it's angled I can't measure it right but I have one starting point and another starting point which is right here and right here so I just can connect those two lines okay so our front view is it, it has been drawn okay um, another key thing though that I want to make sure that we do is make sure that everything lines up so this is where I'm going to draw quickly construction lines in yellow that will help us draw the top view and also the right side view and if you notice I'm kind of continuing them from all the features not just like the one side or the left side or the right side or the left side and now I'm even, well, yeah, I'll even do the construction lines going to the right. Some kind of key features on that front view. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and this time I'm going to draw the top view. Okay. When I'm drawing the top view, I'm going to start actually with this kind of the farthest point away which is right here and this point again it has to line up with this point right they have to line up which means it needs to all be along this yellow construction line so I'm going to start it here and if you notice also both this bottom front view this top view and then also when we get to the right side view you want to make sure that there's a little space from the perimeter or the edge of the graph paper okay you don't want to draw it directly up against all right, so um, starting from this point, I need to draw a line one, two, three, four, five, six. This line right here, though, it's going to be drawn vertical. Why? Because again, they all have to line up. So I'm going to draw it along that grid line one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to connect those. Okay. I'm going to go two in the width direction, which means to a look and it stops at that construction line there's a reason for it now I can go up along that construction line one two three four one two three four okay then I'm gonna go over not to stop at this first one. Oh, and I forgot one I needed to do this end construction line there we go so I'm gonna continue now to start at this corner which is right here and I'm gonna go all the way to the very end all the way to the end of the construction line and just to double check I can count so I just drew that line I drew it one two three four five six seven now let's double check and count one two three four five six seven sweet it's the same all right so now I'm gonna go up one two go up one two and now I just need to connect these two points I connect them okay the last step is I need to draw the other side that we are going to see because remember on um, this kind of top view I'm gonna see this L right on the top and I'm also going to see this triangle okay and that's gonna be on my top view so if you notice this triangle it has a corner here at this corner right one corner is also lines up with this one so that starts here and then the other one this corner right here that I need to connect it to it's two away so I'm gonna go two one two oh and look at that it's on one of those construction lines so now I can just draw and connect those two endpoints there is my top view okay so I'll even kind of underline it so that it matches all right the next view and the final view we need to draw is going to be the right side view and if we look at the right side view 
the sides you're going to see are this uh, vertical kind of rectangle, this horizontal one, and this angled one. Okay. But again, I'm going to save the angle one till the end. I'm going to start with this long vertical rectangle. I'm going to start in the lower right. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Start in the lower right. I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you notice, that goes all the way to the top. It even goes all the way to the top construction line because on the object, it goes all the way to the top. Okay. Then I'm going to go over two, over two, down all the way to the bottom, down all the way to the bottom, and then connect. Okay. All right. So there's one side. Now I'm going to do this horizontal rectangle. Again, saving this angled surface until the end. So if you notice, this corner, which I did already draw and identify, really is going to be the same as this corner right here. They look the same on the right side. So I'm going to start here, and I need to go to the left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go down two, because I need to go down two here. Again, going along those construction lines. You can kind of see the importance of them now. And now I've drawn that horizontal rectangle. The last step is I need to complete drawing that angled side. In order to do that, again, notice that this edge right here, it continues all the way down to the bottom. So I just need to continue this line all the way to the bottom. And then the same thing over here. I drew this line for that vertical rectangle, and this point is at the bottom. When I'm looking at the right side view, this corner is going to look at the exact same spot as that corner. So all I need to do now is just connect these two points. So from here to here. Now I have completed my right side view. That one is now done. I've seen that. I've drawn it. Okay. The last thing I want to point out is the height, width, and depth. Because remember, those are the three key terms that we use to describe the dimensions in this class. So having said that, I'm gonna use um, a different color to kind of identify them. And we are gonna go ahead and use uh, this kind of dark purple one, okay? So on our isometric, remember, height goes up and down, okay? Depth goes in this direction, and then width, goes in this direction okay on our multi-view drawing height is going to be shown on the front view right because that's showing the height and it's also going to be shown on this right side view that's height okay width is going to be shown on that front view and width is also going to be shown hence it's what lines up on that top view okay then the last thing is depth. Depth goes in this direction on that right side view, and then it also goes this direction on that top view. And those are going to be key things that are going to be really helpful for you to identify as we go through and kind of create these multi-view drawings, and also when you're properly communicating dimensions, which is the next part of this unit that we're going to get into.